Hello everyone, welcome to the 5th edition of Finance Crunch, where we will be talking about a highly speculative stock that has been trending upwards in 2020. So let's get started. In 2020, there has been a lot going on, to say the least. From a pandemic to social and political turmoil across the world, which has resulted in dampened moods. But it is important to be optimistic and look past the negativity to what new opportunities await us that will captivate the imagination of society in a truly unworldly fashion. Virgin Galactic Holdings Inc. is on the verge of accomplishing this feat by bringing space tourism to the public after awaiting several results from test flights, which will truly be a temporary escape from the world which we live in today, and the emergence of a whole new industry in space travel. Virgin Galactic was founded by well-known entrepreneur Sir Richard Branson, but to get a larger grasp of the company's roots, we have to go back to the 1970s. As a young man, Branson started Virgin Records in a small department store in London, England. In 1972, the business expanded into a chain of stores and was rebranded as Virgin Megastores. The Virgin brand would eventually expand even further as Branson decided to go into the airline industry in the 1980s by starting Virgin Atlantic. Always the one to push boundaries, Branson's newfound wealth and entrepreneurial curiosity led him to start Virgin Galactic in 2004. Although Branson's vision of commercial space flights are close to being realized, it is important to note that Virgin Galactic's path has been riddled with tragedy, with two separate incidents in 2007 and 2014 that resulted in four fatalities and several people injured. True heroes in the space travel race. One of the spacecraft's VSS Enterprise was also destroyed in the accident. While testing plastic-based fuel, VSS Unity has replaced the spacecraft and is currently undergoing testing. The company has based its operations around two different moving parts, one being the White Knight 2, a special aeroplane built as a mothership and launch platform, and two being the Spaceship 2, which will carry the passengers into space after being launched from the mothership. The company forecasts that in 2023, it will ferry over 1,500 passengers per year on flights that will include several minutes with zero gravity. The Spaceship 2 will only be able to accommodate 8 people in total, with 2 pilots and 6 passengers. Tickets for a seat on one of the flights have been purchased for close to $250,000, but were suspended in 2014 after the death of a test pilot. The company already has 600 ticket holders and is looking to resume ticket sales in Q1 2021, shortly after the rumored test flight that will include Richard Branson. The price of the tickets are expected to increase significantly, as demand will predominantly surpass supply. If upon the start of commercial flights into space are successful, this could potentially open up an $800 billion industry, according to investment banking firm UBS, by the year of 2030. They also expect the company to grow by 50% in the next year. Virgin has also provided space flights for NASA's flight generating program. That includes revenue generating payloads to improve Virgin Galactic's bottom line. Another key development of the company would be the fact that Virgin Galactic and its manufacturer, the space company, are collaborating on a high-speed aircraft that will travel at 60,000 feet and get up to speeds of three times the speed of sound. Although the designs have just been finished, it will be interesting to monitor these developments as Virgin will revolutionize high-speed travel. As mentioned previously, a key catalyst for price movement upwards will be a successful flight with Richard Branson on board. This will increase investor confidence in the company's consistency as a revenue generator because this will signify that Branson believes in his product to the extent where he is willing to use a product at his own risk. A successful test event will also create a lot of publicity for Virgin Galactic as Branson is a familiar face to the public and potential customers will acknowledge this. The euphoria around such a historical offering will push forward demand and cause Virgin to expand their business model worldwide with the newfound revenue from investors. Currently, they are only operating out of New Mexico, which is labeled the Spaceport America. Relative to other competitors, Virgin's spacecrafts are built from lightweight materials, powered by a hybrid rocket, and are reusable, which is cost-efficient in comparison. The company will be able to scale up production of these cost-effective spacecrafts. The company's EBITDA in 2019 was just over a loss of $200 million, which was likely attributable to their high research and development costs. The same can be said about their trailing 12-month loss in net income of just over $400 million in 2020. Despite the financial struggles the company has, it is projecting that the EBI TDA in 2023 will be $274 million. Current one-year price target estimate is $27.22, which seems overvalued as the company does not have good financials, but the prospect of growth and brand recognition that Virgin Galactic has, you could see massive growth in the upcoming years. Specifically due to the hype surrounding space companies, this could push the stock to three digits once the company becomes profitable. 
As mentioned previously, the stock is highly speculative due to several factors, one being that historically the company has had several testing failures that have resulted in tragedy and devastating setbacks, two being the company is yet to be profitable and hasn't put forth a legitimate service that customers will be able to partake in. Everything is speculative to this point. The main factor will be if investors will look past the risk and to what lays ahead. COVID-19 also plays a part in determining if the commercial activity will be viable, but the vaccine rollout is looking to be completed in most countries by Q3 2021 which will decrease the effects that COVID will have on Virgin. One of the most daunting risk factors that the company will face in the future will be their indirect and direct competitors in Blue Origin and SpaceX, among other smaller companies. SpaceX has already sold tickets to individuals for future trips to space on the Crew Dragon spacecraft. Blue Origin has developed a pair of reusable rockets and they are currently being tested. The company is currently in the process of determining the prices that individuals may have to pay for a ticket in 2021, and is likely to be hundreds of thousands of dollars. Virgin Galactic does hold a distinct advantage over these companies as it already has the ticket sold and the business model complete. I also think that consumers will feel more comfortable going to space in a spacecraft that resembles the process of taking off in an airplane. And I do believe the Virgin brand power and the idea of being in an exclusive club will reign superior over competition. Although the upside to SPCE is tremendous, I would tread with caution and only invest given thought about your own principles regarding risk. With that being said, the space industry is risky business, but could very much be, going forward, the industry of the future. Full disclosure, I'm not a financial advisor or a professional. So that's it guys, don't forget to like and subscribe or leave a comment below.